In the week from the 20th of January to the 28th of January 1942, the Imperial Japanese Navy has suffered countless assaults from the air. The combined Allied air power has been concentrated on hitting the invasion task group as it continues to resupply our all-out assault to capture Palembang on the island of Sumatra. Claiming Palembang will provide the Imperial Japanese Navy a measure of safety to all its ships and aircraft between Sumatra and Borneo. This will allow us to turn our attention to securing Borneo as a whole and then looking to push further eastwards. Hi everyone, welcome back to Trench Google Offensive. Here we are, 28th of January 1942. It's coming up to 5 p.m. Um, and our cruisers have made it back to Kirchin. So, what are we doing? We have um, taken control of Singapore. That is now under our control. A little bit of resistance fighting still going on, but 15,000 troops on the ground. We should pretty much um, see that one sorted pretty soon. Um, we also captured Pontinac on the West Borneo coastline. It's got a level 2 airfield, uh, 14,000 troops there. Completely wiped out the um, Defiance last time, which is nice. Um, and we've got some supplies and engineering here as well. Uh, we've got, well, some fighters, I think they're out on patrol. Are these, are these the Nates? They are. In fact, what we could probably do is bring them back. Are they they pairs or are they singular? They're singular aircraft, actually. We lost a few due in um, covering some of the the uh, ships going into um, enemy territory. Uh, so, should we upgrade the the base there? It's, I, probably not. If we're going to try and switch our attentions to the rest of Borneo, these two bases here at Palit Papan and um, Banjamazin, um, then these are the airfields we really need to sort of increase because these are the ones we want to be striking when we're sort of covering our aircraft, uh, sorry, covering our ships heading into Java or over here into Makassar. So, yeah. Um, we have dropped troops over at Palembang. We've got just under 6,000 troops here fighting hard. They've got a good stronghold and we are um, pretty much holding them off. We've destroyed their airbase in the area so hopefully um, these guys can... Uh, let's get these guys in fact. Can I collect them? There we go. Let's get these um, restocked with troops. And what we'll do, these are heavily damaged ships but I can't afford to put them out of action yet so they're going to stock up on what they can carry and they're going to head back down to Palembang with another lot of reinforcements. It's going to take 36 hours to get there. Crikey Moses. So it's going to be a long distance and a long time for them to go obviously. They're, they've got quite a bit of damage some of these ships. Yeah, critically damaged so even the um, cruiser here Miyoko is uh, heavily damaged um, so they're going to limp along but they can still do a job I can't afford to have them out of action unfortunately at the moment meantime at Tarakan over here on the east coast of Malaya we've got just under 29,000 troops 5,000 supplies 350 engineering and fuel just stuck here now thanks for all your comments and your suggestions I've read them all and um, there's a lot of people asking let's get a, a carrier and let's bring the fight to the, to the enemy. Um, unfortunately we've got 87 command points. Uh, if we have a look at carriers, uh, the only one available to us is the Shokaku um, carrier. I'm sure that pronunciation is brilliant. Uh, this has got zeros, 24 zeros, 24 valves, 24 capes. Perfect. That is exactly what we want. We obviously can't afford that. Um, it's going to be a long time before we can afford that. So the, what we'd be left with is carrier escorts. So you've got the uh, Chitozi light carriers here. These have got scout planes and medium bombers and honestly not much cop to be honest with you. Um, 
the Mizzou O is similar kind of talking point. Uh, these aren't available to us uh, yet. What is available to us is the Ryuju um, carrier, and that is what is only thing that's available. That's 80. That's pretty much all our points gone in one spend. So we could maybe put a carrier with this group to give them some um, fighter coverage. However, the fighters they have are the A5M4 Claudes. Uh, 24 of them. Now these are similar kind of stature to the Nates we have, which are dated. They're a little bit obsolete this time of the war, unfortunately. They will not stand up to hurricanes um, of the uh, Allied Air Forces. So I think that we'll just, what we'll do, we'll buy those and they'll just get shot down <laughs> on the first patrol. And, uh, and there we are, we'll be fighterless once more. Uh, it does have torpedo and um, medium bomber cates, which are fairly decent aircraft. Quite happy, would be happy with those, but it's the fighters we're looking for. So, what would be left with was those fighters getting shot down. A large aircraft carrier here, or escort carrier here, not particularly good at defending itself with no fighter coverage, and would spend all our points. So, um, we're gonna. We're going to park that idea until we can get a proper carrier later. Uh, so what we're going to probably do is get another carrier, uh, sorry, another cruiser task group. Uh, so what we'll need is some um, merchant ships to begin with. So um, eight, these are pretty good I think. How many can we get of those? Get two of those? Three of those? Actually no, let's get um, let's get two of those. Two of those. There we go. It's 34 points, and that is our merchant fleet created. We want a heavy carrier. Oh, I keep saying carrier. Heavy cruiser, I beg your pardon, to um, lead this flight. And what we're looking for is um, decent anti aircraft. So the Miyako is okay, the Takao is okay. And so is the Mogami. They're, they're much the muchness. Um, let's have a look at main guns. 20 centimeter. They're all the same. That's pretty much all the same. The Dachau does have anti-submarine 60 depth charges, which is pretty good, which the other two do not have. Um, when it comes to radar and stuff... Oh, okay. The Dachau has air radar, 54 nautical miles. Um, deck armor is best on the Megami. Yeah, deck armor is only one, one point nine there. Bridge armor is good on the Takao. So the Megami seems to be he more heavily armed. Um, doesn't have good passive sonar or any. Air radar. Mm, I think I think I think the Takao is the is the better of the choices we have there. So we're going to get Takao. That takes us up to 61. So we have 27 left. Now having a look, light cruisers. I was having a look at the was it Nagara? No, was it the Sendi? The Sendai. I think it was a Sendai with the anti aircraft fire. How much is that? 12. So if I get that, 73. And then if we have a look at destroyers, um, Suki, Fubuki, Akatsuki, I think, one's looking fairly good as well. 36 depth charges, 9. And get one of those, uh, which will leave us five points. Mm. What about DEs? We could probably get a patrol boat 31, and that seems to be it. Or we can get these little um, K8 escort ships, they've got some firepower. Let's get, yeah, let's get a patrol boat. 
number 33 patrol boat there we go so we've got a bit of firepower with the heavy cruiser and the light cruiser uh, we've got the Hibiki and the number 33 patrol boat which will also bring in a bit of anti-aircraft fire now I've got this because I think they've got good anti-aircraft fire I might be wrong um, but we will see right let's get the cruiser up front two three and four are going to be the yep five is going to be the other ship yeah and then we've got eight uh, eight can be that one swap them so cruiser front and back and we've got the two sh uh, um, destroyer and the patrol boat on the flanks okay that is purchased let's um, task force 13 lucky number 13 let's leave that as it is then let's manage some cargo nothing on the cruiser of course um, let's get 622 troops on there another 990 on there so that's 1500 we got oh there we go 2500 and just over 3000 troops then nice we get some on the patrol boat and the destroyer as well and the light cruiser excellent right let's set course then to get down there it'll be 24 hours or oh, 28 hours perfect so that means it will be coming they'll sail through the night and the day and then under the cover of darkness tomorrow they should be setting course to actually drop troops there fantastic and as we approach quarter to two on the 30th of January 1942 um, our resupply convoy here, limping with all these damaged ships, are nearing Palembang. However, the much healthier ships, which we've just purchased of Task Force 13, have made it to uh, Balkinpapan. However you pronounce that. Uh, what we're going to do then, we've got a level 3 airfield here. Let's see if we can um, shore bombardment. Let's we'll see if we can knock down any of those levels. We've got the two cruisers, so probably one light cruiser, one heavy cruiser. We'll probably get three shots. And it doesn't appear like that's done any damage whatsoever. But um, what that may have done. No, it didn't do any damage. It may have destroyed some defending troops and supplies, etc. So it may not have been a complete waste. Do not panic. Right, let's see if we can unload all cargo here. Boom, all troops have been dispatched. Now we've got a few hours to try and get out of dodge as quickly as possible before the aircraft inevitably that's going to take us eight hours Ooh, we're going to get hit. We, we, we will get hit by anti-aircraft uh, uh, sorry anti-shipping um, patrols from their the enemy aircraft so yeah okay i hate when it does that it makes it there you go eight hours that's the quickest way out Sometimes it, if you do the auto route, it will give you a very long um, path following the coastline for a bit when it's needlessly long. Uh, let's have a look at this basin. Oh, look. So we've got 3,600 troops dropped off. We need a lot of troops. We need to do a lot of raids here to try and um, fortify this and hopefully rearm the cruisers and bombard again to try and knock down some of the, um, the levels of the airfield and the, the port. 6.30 the following morning. Yes, it didn't take long for the first enemy aircraft to be sent up to attack. What have we got? Dornias, are they? Can't say. They look like seaplanes anyway. Um, nine of No. Twelve of them coming in. Let's see if this anti-aircraft fire can do any good then. We've got the cruisers. The destroyers, the patrol boats, and we've got some evasive maneuvers happening right now. Oh no, look, they're PBY Catalinas. And they've got two torpedoes under the wings. Oh my goodness me. 12 aircraft, 24 torpedoes about to be dropped. Oh my goodness. This is going to be difficult to dodge. The, the sheer number of torpedoes in the water. Hopefully, they're duds. That's, that's what we can pray on. Now we'll have to see how this anti-aircraft fire defence works. It'd be good if we could down some of these aircraft before they get close. Oh, 
But we got one. Got two. Okay, but he's got a good run on our ship. Torpedoes in. Torpedoes in the water. Right, his best bet is to keep going. If he turns now, oh, he's um. Oh, he's got no chance. He's got no chance. He's going to get hit. Two torpedoes hit into that one. Next wave coming in. Coming straight for this one by the looks of it. Oh my goodness me. Right, you just straighten up. You just stay straight. Uh, if they drop them in a the line, there's not much you can do anyway. Oh yeah. Turn slightly. Oh my god, that's so close. We're not going to be able to dodge that, unfortunately. Now he's going to get hit. Pray for some duds now. It's a good hit. More torpedo bombers coming in. And these are using the merge tactic, it would seem, to try and dodge the anti aircraft fire. Are they going for the already damaged ship to try and finish her off? Possibly. Anti aircraft fire is doing well, but it's. Oh my goodness, it's not going to be enough. Oh, torpedoes in the water. Oh, there's no way she's getting away from that. We can try and straighten up, but she's come down the water. Oh, we may get lucky. We may get lucky. Oh, no, we didn't quite dodge it. Another flight coming in. Light cruiser running across their path, running some interference. Oh, they're going to have a bump. Oh. They've had a bump. What was that? What blew up there? Is that damage from the ship? I'm not quite sure. The cruiser seems to take some damage from an unknown source. Let's have a look. How's she doing? Fire's going. Not quite sure where that's come from. You stop. Uh, you need to stop as well. Get those fires under control. If you can. Yeah, I think we're going to lose this one. There's no nothing for it really. You can stop working on the flood and get the fire sorted out. I think. Oh, we've also got this one running. She's turning evasive manoeuvres. She's not turning hard enough. God, this is going to be so close. Straighten up so she doesn't kick out her tail. Oh, mama, that's close. Oh, and now we've got to watch out for the um, the cruiser. Uh, so here we are, one of the freighters still fighting the fires. Hopefully we're going to save her. A bit of damage there. Propulsion seems to be okay. This looks repairable if we can save it from the fires. The light cruiser's got a fire. I'm not sure what caused this fire to start. On the rear of the ship. Maybe a bit of errant friendly anti-aircraft fire perhaps. That's all I can think caused that issue. Uh, but this ship is in real trouble. Fire's blazing, and I don't think the crew. Yeah, she's going to go. She's going to go down. Unfortunately, we well, looks like we're going to lose one of these ships. All right, a little bit of an update. We're doing repairs on these ships now. It looks like this one's going to be fine. Um, bit of damage here. Lost sections back here, but um, propulsion's okay. And uh, we'll be able to fix these to get them and get that this water out here. That's kind of lost, but um, she should be good to rejoin shortly. The light cruiser is back to fighting condition, so she is looking good. And the one I thought we'd lost, we've managed to put out the fires, and we've got flood, well, flooding being pumped out as quick as we can, and 
They're desperately trying to fix the um, prop and rudders so we can get some propulsion. She's got no propulsion at the moment. If we get her moving, there's a good chance we can keep her afloat. Get this this water in these uh, two yellow sections um, pumped out. This unfortunately is kind of where it's going to be. So she's going to be slow and heavy with water. So if we can get her back to port, it'll be straight in for release and repair, unfortunately, after her maiden voyage. But uh, yeah. It would be good just to try and save her, get her back to port if we can, and then we can recoup the points in in a few weeks' time. And at the end of that action, um, incredibly, we were able to save the Asama Maru with heavy damage and moderate flooding, but she's still just about a flight. And we got the engine working as well, so she's got about 75% speed, so fairly good. Quite pleased with that. Um, the Onui Maru, uh, moderate damage, minor flooding, able to get her pretty much back on up and running. And of course the Jinsu, our light cruiser, no damage, fully able to repair. The good news is, of the 12 aircraft that attacked, we shot down 8. So the anti-aircraft cover we've got from the Maya, the Jinsu, the Hibiki and number 33 patrol boat seems to be an improvement of what we've had in the past. Meanwhile at 5 minutes past 7, Resupply Convoy has made it to um, Palembang. Now Palembang has got no uh, airfield or port as you know so let us um, drop these troops off unload all cargo there we go and that is looking much healthier in our favor and we can get these boys to um, set course back actually what we got in Pontiac 14,000. I'm wondering if we sail over here, Pontinac, another 24 hours. Um, is it worth trying to rescue a couple of the ships from there and get them into this one, maybe a heavy cruiser? Because this is kind of fairly protected now. So if we split this and we get maybe, you're okay. Oh god, mm, they're all pretty badly damaged, aren't they, actually? Um, the Otago is okay. She's got no shells, though. She needs a resupply. Oh my god, is there anything that's not damaged? No, not really. Okay, um, let's set them course back up here. Anything that's we get resupplied and we get them, maybe the heavy cruiser I might try and join up in Task Force 13. And, uh, and maybe one of the troop ships as well, and we can um, continue our presence and, and uh, keeps attacking uh, Palak Papan. Palak Papan? I don't know, Vanessa. Um, yeah. Seven minutes past seven. Task Force 13 is coming under more enemy fighter attention. Um, anti aircraft is being sent up. Can't see what it is yet. It's pouring with rain. Oh, it's um, fighters. So they have bombs under the wings, perhaps. Do some evasive maneuvers. We've already got one smoking. Two smoking. The anti aircraft fire seems to be surprisingly better. Okay, here they come. They drop, they're dropping bombs. They'll just drop bombs around that. Um, trade ship and probably around patrol boat 33 okay they've missed thank heavens that's the uh, the cruiser oh yes yeah, so they got like little 250 pound bombs into the wings going for the um, merchant ships again by the looks of it a hail of fire coming up from that light cruiser that was a good purchase Doing evasive maneuvers, hopefully they'll miss again. Oh, they're going for the cruiser that time. Thankfully they missed. Okay, we seem to have skirted that one for the time being. Confirmation then. Um, no damage to the Maya, thank heavens for that. Um, minor damage. No, oh, Jinsu got minor damage. Not quite sure what. Maybe from those bombs, nothing too much to report. Uh, those 10 aircraft have damaged them, but none were shot down. A24. 
it's relentless more aircraft coming in looks like Catalina torpedo bombers again six of them no eight of them it's the remaining eight which attacked us first thing in the morning isn't it they've gone back rearmed and they're back with us all right let's see if we can get some of these shot down okay looks like they're maneuvering for their attack run now we're trying to straighten the um the fleet up or the convoy up so they'll drop and then we can do some maneuvers speeding up as well looks like they're coming straight for us what about the other flights that one's could be coming for us oh well i could be paranoid but it looks like they're all coming for the cruiser Come on, anti-aircraft defence, let's bring them down. Anti-aircraft fires coming in thick and fast. Another flight coming in behind us. Light cruiser firing away. Doesn't look like we're going to get much. It looks like they're going to steal through and they're going to go for this one here. One's behind, look to be going for this one. Doing evasive maneuvers with this one. I'm oh, maybe not going for us. Okay. Evasive maneuvers coming in. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to dodge this one. Oh, she's going to get one. Watch that. Uh, we can't get that tail. Yeah. Okay. Watch the nose. Do not put the bow into it. Got two more coming in. Torpedoes in the water, dodging with a patrol boat. She should have the speed to get out of it. Aircraft shot down back there. Yeah, she's clear. Alright, nice. Uh, did someone just drop bombs on us? Oh my god! That was Martins as well didn't see them. Crikey, that was lucky. So the after action reports. Thankfully we were able to save that ship but it's got heavy damage, moderate flooding. Um, so our cargo ships are taking a bit of a pounding. Only the Hitachi Maru is looking fine. Um, minor damage to the um, heavy cruiser as well, not sure where that's come from. Um, but yeah, all the other fighting ships seem to be okay. Not as, as effective as it felt. 16 aircraft attacked, two were shot down. So that's them probably down to, what was it, eight? So probably six PBY Catalinas now. And uh, the Martins came in as a bit of a surprise later on, but thankfully only minor damage, I think, from their uh, efforts. 10.13, 45 minutes later, we got more enemy aircraft coming in. Martins, I think. Thousands of them. Oh, they're not. They're Hudsons. And they've got a couple of bombs each going for our... Um, sh now, this ship here by the looks of it. Neat little aircraft. Oof, they've missed. Thank heavens. First wave anyway. Next wave are going for what looks to be the patrol boat on the flank. The anti aircraft. Oh, that would have been a collision. They get away with it. Oh, probably some damage to the patrol boat on that one. Fourth flight coming in, maybe attacking the light cruiser, which is putting up a hail of anti aircraft fire. Not been much effective though. No, they are going. For the um, merchant ship who's turning sharply and probably turning into the bombs trajectory unfortunately too late to do anything about it now thankfully they miss probably due to the poor weather but look at these little Hudson's awesome so the after-action report more damage for the Maya 
Was she moderate, moderate before, perhaps? I thought that she was any... Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Damage along the line. Thankfully, only this time a little bit of damage to the patrol boat and the um, Onu Maru. Uh, they were able to repair the minor damage they received from this attack from the Hudsons. None of the Hudsons were shot down. Poor weather all round, I suppose. And as we just crossed midnight into the 31st of January 1942, the Task Force 13, damaged though they are, uh, have managed to get away from the um, aircraft attack. Obviously it's night time now and they're making their way back to port where they can repair, release some ships and get some more troops on board. We've got 3,300 um, and we need a lot more to fight the good fight to try and seize this base. Um, this convoy, the resupply convoy, is um, making its way back to Kirchin now. Um, but a bit of good news. Palembang has fallen to our troops. Yes, there's still some any re enemy resistance, but the 8,255 troops have seized control of the region. So Sumatra is under our control now. Happy days, happy days. So what we're going to do, see what's good when these boys get back to town. Um, stock them up with troops and then we're going to sail them round past Banjamison and they're going to also, maybe we'll merge these two forces and bring them in uh, to, to continue our attack on this. And What I want to do is get maybe the heavy cruiser here, the Otago, um, joined up with this one so we can get a couple of heavy cruisers pounding the um, the airbase here to try and knock the level of uh, defence down a, a, a few notches to try and help us out. Um, but yeah, we've got some heavily damaged ships here. So yeah, some of them we're going to have to release. We've got nine points thanks to some of the other ships being released from repair. Um, so we can purchase another um, merchant ship for for sure and get one of these replaced um, but we've got a few hours before they get back to port meantime task force 13 has made it back to base let's rearm the ships nice and um, so what do we got you have four damaged and flooded you oh, so the summer maru is badly damaged oh, so are you really the rest can go again So, um, let's release and repair you. We're not in, within 13. How could we rearm? Do, hang on. Do we. All sh we can rearm, but we can't. What do you mean? I must be within 13 nautical miles of the bloody base. I mean, I can't get any closer. What do you want me to do? I'm on land, basically. Let's move a little bit closer. Can we now release from repair? No, we can't. She's staying with us then, it would seem. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> we can't get rid of her. She's coming with us. More troops. We're going to do another death-defying run into the hell itself. Wish us luck. Right. Troops and ships resupplied. Right, it would take us 27 hours to get there. At 7.32 on the 2nd of February, Task Force 13 has made it back. Made it back to Balikapapan, wherever. <laughs> I pronounce that differently every time and I love it. Right, short bombardment. Oh, we hit the airfield. That's something. Go on, strike lucky again. No, but that's good. So. Level 2 airfields, good stuff. Right, let's get these boys unload all the cargo. Happy days. Strike course. Get out of it. So, um, there we go. We've got about a third of the troops we require now. A third against their two thirds. Um, 6,300 troops. More troops coming down the um, Borneo coast here. 914. The enemy is sending aircraft for us. 
they are not going to let this cruiser. I've got a funny feeling now that we've taken a bit of a hit from the uh, the enemy. The the way this game works, I wouldn't be surprised if. Oh my good God! How many aircraft? I w right. I. I'm telling you now, our cruiser is not getting out of this because I know how this game works and it will take this cruiser no matter what. So we are going to lose this cruiser. That's my prediction. Uh, we're going to do evasive maneuvers and I'm thinking, are they... They're B-17s. Where on earth have they come from? Evasive maneuvers. Of course B-17s were not brilliant flat bombers from this height trying to hit a moving target, but my prediction is they'll absolutely nail it. Oh, almost. Another flight of B-17s going over. One smoking. What were the other aircraft we saw? Okay, B-17Fs by the looks of it. They've hit one of our merchant ships down there. Where are all those other aircraft? So two flights of B-17s. Okay, we've got Hudson's and Martin's coming in. And it looks like they're targeting our cruiser. I think my my bet is a safe bet. Well, we're not going to continually win the random number rolls. They will land bombs on our cruiser and I predict we will lose her look at them all look at them all so we got the is it the Hudson's coming over us there I've never seen so many aircraft yep first lot of hits on the cruiser more waves coming in I don't want to slow down because that could be the end, right? Evasive, continue the evasive maneuvers. I know she's burning, but I'd rather keep her as a moving target. Our merchant ships have been knocked off as well. What are they? Martins, have they got the big bombs? Oh, we've got torpedo bombs as well. Uh, here we go, this will finish us off. Yeah, two of the big bombs hit us, and there is no way we can dodge these torpedoes. I called it. <laughs> I knew it! Oh, it's such a sly game. There's one. Is it going to hit us? Nope. Oh, managed to shoot down those two. That's something. These ones. Torpedoes in the water, all four of them in a row. Yeah, we can't dodge them. Unfortunately. All four torpedoes will impact us. And that's the cruiser gone. Unfortunately, if you know the game, entirely predictable. Hopefully they'll continue to drop their ordnance on no they're going for this one keep dodging yeah more torpedoes on the cruiser and hopefully these will drop keep drop drop oh no don't they've turned away because they this one's been destroyed so they're gonna go for the next ship Oh, that's unfortunate. Two torpedoes have snuck past. Now this one is in the firing line. Torpedoes dropped. They're going to get her. Nothing we can do. How many aircraft did they send up, by the way? How many did they manage? Oh, we're going to lose this one as well. Two torpedo hits there. Right, all stop. Can we save some of the merchants at least? No, that's she's gone. Right, so we've lost our heavy cruiser. 
100% predictable, unfortunately. And we'll lose this one as well. Uh, she's got internal combustions. Her two... Look at that. No, there's, she's only got two fire, um, repair crews and they're never going to be able to re recover that. Right, what we've got to watch out for is you getting hit by those... Oh no, you're probably quite clear of them. Confirmation then, our heavy cruiser was sunk for 13,000 tonnes, the Hitachi Maru was also sunk for 6,784 tonnes, two ships lost, almost 20,000 tonnes. 44 aircraft! <sighs> what can you say? It's getting a bit of a joke, isn't it? Uh, um, we shot down four of them. They've still got 40 of them though. But um yeah I don't know what to say I'm starting to see how this game does the difficulty at 1 30 on the 4th of February our beleaguered task force 13 makes it back uh, to Turrican uh, we've got 21 and a half thousand troops here we've gone over and so we have recycled our command points for the territories we own and capture so that's given us another 54 points, and I think that's also some of the, yeah, some of the damaged ships have also been released. So um, it's gained us a lot more points. So we can maybe look to uh, replace our lost cruiser. Can we get another Takao cruiser? Yes, we can. Um, Let's try that again. So we we'll get one of those. Um, what's that? Let's get two of those. We'll also get our heavy cruiser, the Nachi, uh, and maybe can we get another one of those Sendai light cruisers because they're pretty nifty with the old anti-aircraft guns, aren't they? Yeah. Naka. Good stuff. Right, 56. Ah, oh, cost 56. Bugger. Damn it. Okay, let's try. Let's get some of those patrol boats then because they were pretty good, weren't they? Um, and that'll probably do. Right, nice. So the Task Force 4, that's all looking good. Task Force um, 13 coming back into port. Let's get who's the badly damaged. Two flooded, 12 damaged, two general. You, let's release you for repair oh I forgot this seems to be bugged and I don't seem to be able to that's so frustrating right split group let's get you and you just sail away literally sail out of my life go on um, buggy piece of crap right task force you can we get you back over here and we'll get you merged with the other task group so 13 and 4 will get merged. There we go. Um, so we've got three, four, sorry, we've got four um, merchant ships and a lot of um, destroyers and what a cruiser. All right, let's go. Should we stick with what's three column look like? Mm, a box formation could work, couldn't it? If we have at the front, we'll have the heavy cruiser. Actually, I don't like that. It's potentially you can bomb. That's probably a better formation. One, so heavy cruiser merchant. Four and three are going to be a merchant behind the cruiser, and then a patrol boat. Five and six. Yes, okay, so we've got a zigzag of the defense. Eight is also a patrol boat. Seven is also a destroyer. Nine is a um, merchant. And ten is the uh, jinsu. I reckon 
if we got seven, seven and you to swap. There we go. So we've got, yeah. Okay, that's looking better. Right, let's. That's good. Let's get um, cargo managed. So nothing on the cruiser. Troops, thousand troops. They're almost a thousand troops. Almost there. More troops. More troops. Another thousand odd troops. Six hundred there. Another hundred. 134, 200, perfect. Right, you set sail, and you know where we're going. Back down to hell. Off we go. Uh, meantime, this one is sailing round. Let's continue on. At one minute past six on the 5th of February, our resupply convoy has made it to Balik Papan. Uh, and this is the Task Force 5, which is Task Force 13 and 4 mixed to is one, coming in behind them. So straight away, let's see if we can shore bombardment with the two cruisers here. Try and knock their airfields once more. No joy it would seem, but okay. Let's um, unload the cargo, or i.e. our troops. And what we're going to do, we're going to sail this way and try and cross them. So we're going to get hammered by en enemy aircraft as we come in, but these are going to come past us so we can maybe mix both of the uh, levels of guns together. Meantime, 8,000 troops now landed and we're almost there. We're probably at 40, 60, maybe 45, 55% split on the troops. Um, we really are trying to brute force this. We're going to lose a couple of ships on the way out, but it might be worth the cost overall. Uh, the weekly tick over has ticked over, and we got 35 command points. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this vessel. I'm going to send her back in to see if we can somehow find where the trigger point is and get that released and repaired. If not, she might as well just be sailed down. Um, join up with joining this one if if these make it back right the first attack it looks like fighters so here we go a resupply convoy which is already battered from doing its palimbang runs now trying to um, get back got some fighters up there lots of anti-aircraft going up is it just the one flight no there's another one there Okay, there's Brewsters going up and they've got little bombs under the wings dropping on our patrol boats and our merchant ships by the looks of things. Oh, and the cruiser. They're going for the cruiser. Are they going to get the patrol boat? No. Not this time. Another flight or two coming in though. There you go. Again, looks like potentially the patrol boat or maybe the destroyer in front of them. Going for the destroyer. There, it's turning, so maybe it'll get away with it. Anti-aircraft fire coming up. They're shorts, thank heavens. Okay. Often we see this and we think we've got away with it, then another flight of different aircraft comes in from a different location. So uh, hopefully we've managed to survive this first counter-attack. Confirmation, um, no real damage that I could ascertain after that attack. The 10 um, Brewsters that attacked us uh, all managed to get back to base by looks of things without too much hassle. A bit of damage on a couple of them, but um, none shot down. So, as 9 o'clock on February the 5th, 1942, ticks over. We are taking, well, I'd say we're going to take a pounding, but we are... We're, we're, we're forcing it, aren't we? We are really just trying to brute force taking over this territory here. 8,300 troops on the uh, on the region fighting the good fight. Um, resupply is now taking some hits, but is dragging its hauling its damaged ships out, and hopefully they can come up here to Tarakan and repair and release and get some more troops. Meantime, Task Force 5, which is Task Force 4, the new ships, and Task Force 13, the old ships, 
mingled together, uh, full of laden with troops and heading back down here to drop some more, couple of thousand more troops to keep up the fight here. And they'll also do a bombardment where hopefully we can knock the airfield down. Obviously we don't really want to do that because that in stops us having, when we take it, the airfield resources to actually then attack long range as well. But that's all we can do for the moment, unfortunately. So these guys are going to work in tandem. Ships going to be whittled down by the huge number of Allied Air Force defenders. Just nothing we can do about that. But there's some good news. This section on the western part of the map is now pretty much secure. Um, Singapore is completely secure. No other um, fighting going on there. Down here in Palembang, only a small token force remains. Those 8,000 troops should be able to wipe them off the map pretty soon. Pontinac is also completely under our control now. Uh, so Banjamasin is probably getting a bit worried now. They know that it's not going to be long before they get taken. But if we can take this, this um, base here, uh, this should fall pretty quick. And we can probably raid this pretty simply without too much resistance. Um, then we've got a level, level 2 airbase there, level 1. Level 2, level 4. Okay, that's may maybe where the B-17s came from. I'm not sure if B-17s are on level 4 or level 3. It could be level 3, so they could be coming from here. But yeah, it was a bit of a shock to see B-17s. All of a sudden, the aircraft's getting more modern and more dangerous. It's, uh, it's worrying indeed. But we're going to leave it there for this time. Thanks ever so much for watching. It's been a another tough day another tough day in the office numerous ships damaged we lost a heavy cruiser we can actually probably review what we what we've gone through today so yeah starting at the top um we lost the hitachi maru merchant ship here and we also lost the maya the takao heavy cruiser thirteen thousand tons <sighs> That's going to hurt. That that really does hurt. A heavy cruiser. Is that a... Yeah, we lost a light cruiser to begin with, didn't we? Um, but yeah, to lose a heavy cruiser, that's 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 quite painful. That is quite painful. We've lost 66,000 tonnes now of shipping. Uh, we've now lost more than the Allies have. Obviously, we, we, we started off really strongly by sinking the renowned battle cruiser Repulse. Um, destroyed a couple of... Um, submarines the escort trawler and the c3 merchant last time but um we've not had any joy since we've not seen another ship since to be fair um another five points until we get that ship put into repair now this one here will we be ever be able to get her released and repaired i don't know i don't know i think that's bugs so what, what what she can do, she can wait there until one of these, this this um, task group gets back up there and she might as well join those and be cannon fodder if nothing else. Um, that, seems, that point seems to be bugged for some reason. You know, I can't get any closer to that and yet it's not releasing it. I could probably sail it all the way around here and it'd work, but quite frankly that'll probably take the best part of three or four days and... We might as well just keep using it until it's sunk, to be fair. But we're going to leave it there. Next time we'll pick up from uh, 9 o'clock on 5th of February, and uh, we've got Task Force 5 heading in. I'm sure that's going to be painful, and I don't think resupply's departure from the area is uh, altogether over either. I think they're in for a little bit more attention. But we'll pick that up next time. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.